Hey guys, it's a little bit of a different video than my usual. It's actually been a while since I've done one of these. Kind of one of my more ranty ones, if you will. Something... I tend to stay out of this stuff for the most part, but this is one of those situations where, I'll be honest, I decided I kind of wanted to put my mind out there on it. And I might get some hate for this. I... I fully expect that, you know, my subscriber count's going to probably plummet because of me doing this. Oh well. Fuck it. I don't care. Because I just... It's one of those things where I've really gotten tired of seeing a lot of this shit, and I've, I've been very outspoken in my personal life about some of these things, but I've kept it off the channel for the most part. Now, for the most part, I'm sure you guys already know what I'm referring to, and that is the whole issue regarding PewDiePie. Now, I cannot, for the life of me begin to believe I am going to say the things I'm going to say in defense of PewDiePie. I honestly, I've never cared for his humor much. I, his, his style is just not my thing. I, I watched him here and there, but it's just never really something I cared for. That being said, what these journalists have done, and I use the word journalist in the loosest context and sense of the word, is at best a hit piece, or hit pieces now. These people have outright gone out of their way to try to hurt him, and there's a lot of speculation regarding the idea that they've done this because they are scared of the new media, YouTube, Twitch, things like that. Let's face it, old media, TV is, in a sense, dying. But not just TV, newsprint, things like that. And that's not something I like saying, because I went to school to do just that job. I went to college for the graphic communications field. So the, for me to sit and say the print is dying is a bit of a issue that, you know, kind of spur in my side, but it is dying, in a sense. Mostly in the sense that newspapers, journalists, they're losing their money because they aren't even doing the job that they used to do. There was a time when journalism was actually something you went out, you actually reported on the facts, you actually did investigative journalism. You went out and you found out the truth, you really dug into it. Nowadays, it's just a bunch of journalists collabing together saying, hey, this guy did a thing, this guy did that thing, this thing. There's really no investigation going on. Now, that being said, these journalists did do some digging regarding PewDiePie. And I don't have their names, the Wall Street Journal journalist. <laughs> Basically collected some clips of videos and things and sent them to Disney in a way, in an attempt to harm his image. And, well, it worked. Now, I don't necessarily agree. The one in particular of him paying the Fiverr guys... Poor judgment wasn't particularly funny to me, but hey, guess what? There's this thing where humor is not objective, it is subjective. Humor is something that we have to look at from our own personal standpoint. Hey, is that funny? No. Okay, I'm going to move over here to something else I find funny. Hey, is that funny? Yeah, I'm going to laugh my ass off at it now. <laughs> that was terrible. Fake laughter. Here's the problem, right? This wasn't particularly funny in my mind. Now... In that same sense, I will sit here and say, wow, did he stir up a hornet's nest, and did he ever? But some of his other videos, you know, people were trying to claim that it show as more proof that he's a Nazi, or Nazi sympathizer, or that he has anti-Semitic views. One of those damn videos is him sitting at the end of it, after criticizing YouTube heroes, he's literally sitting at the end of the, the video, watching... A Adolf Hitler speech dressed in a military uniform. It's called satire, folks. Freaking South Park's been doing it for years, people. But yet they get away with it. But we have this uh, author over at Polygon who said that the reason that South Park gets away with it is because they've had years of doing it and it's just accepted. You know, it literally, I have a quote. But many fans wonder, why do South Park and other shows or movies get away with humor on these same topics without incurring an internet backlash or losing business relationships? Are people holding PewDiePie to a different standard than everyone else in the entertainment? God dang it, yes they are! They are definitely holding him to a different standard. To try to defend them, this author over at Polygon wrote, 
It takes skill to turn hatred into humor. No, what it takes is somebody trying to minimize what it is. They're literally laugh. He's literally making fun of Nazis. He is not a Nazi. He's making fun of Nazis, you idiots. And that's the point that people are missing about this. He's making fun of them. He's make he's mocking them. He is not a friend to Nazis. And that's where I don't understand. People are not understanding. He what I don't understand that people are are understanding, he's not a Nazi. He does not purport these things. This is not what he believes. And that much is very clear. No, what he is, is he is somebody who's trying to mock these people who do hold those beliefs. I mean, come on. Anyone with a brain with even a hint of knowledge or logic would see that. As a matter of fact, the first person that, you know, a, a Nazi would want to kill back in the 1930s would have been somebody like PewDiePie for doing that sort of thing because that's the sort of thing they didn't like. They didn't like their ideology being mocked. And that's what he's doing. He's mocking it. But this author doesn't believe it's satire. He believes it's too crude to be satire. I'm sorry... But it's, that's what satire can be. Humor can be crude. It can be nasty. It can be dirty. It can be dark. There can be a very nihilistic side to humor. And the fact that people are missing that, to me, screams the idea that they don't understand humor in the first place. You people really are jumping the gun with this. Now, did Disney have the right to revoke whatever contracts? Did YouTube? Yes, because that's a, that is a company policy thing. Look, if a company wants to revoke that those contracts, they can do that. We might not like it, but that's the company's decision to do that. But to attack PewDiePie on this and call him a Nazi, a anti-Semite, is ridiculous. Because he's not. He is anything but an anti-Semite at this point. He's anything but a Nazi. But no, these these authors, they wanna, you know, they wanna just find a villain. And he is a perfect target. You know, they, they, these people are the same ones that go after the likes of Sargon Akkad, who they claim is an alt-right member. And the, the man is anything but. Again, this is another incident of they're claiming somebody is an alt-right member, a figure for the alt-right, when he is anything but. The alt-right hate people like these guys. I know for a fact they hate Sargon because of the fact of the matter is, Sargon tweets these people gay interracial porn. Now, is that the sort of thing that a figure, a leader within the alt right's going to do? No, it's something they are go not going to do. But again, they, these are the people that would hate Milo Yiannopoulos even. You know, a gay Jew conservative. Oh, but he's a member of the alt right. How does that make sense? The alt-right don't like gays, they don't like Jews, and they really don't like the fact that he likes gay sex with black men. Come on! This sort of thing just makes no sense to me. It, it really makes no sense. Can we really sit here and say that N PewDiePie is a Nazi when the things he's doing is clear satire? He's, a, he's satirically attacking Nazis. He's satirically attacking the alt-right. Well, then, you know, he's, he's obviously, you know, got some sort of pull over the alt-right because that they're, they're one of the alt-right websites is now the biggest fan of, the, of PewDiePie. You know what? <laughs> they are also now the biggest, you know, fan site of the freaking Wall Street Journal. Did you know that? But, of course, that's, you know, oh, you got to be accountable for who watches your videos. Somebody... Somebody can come on and watch my videos and take from them what they want. I can't control what that person does with it. I'm sorry, but there is no way I can control what you or any of your friends watching my videos think about my videos and do on those videos, whether they act out on them or not. I can sit here and say, till I'm blue in the face, hey, don't go out and do this. You're going to probably go out and do it, for starters, because there's this idea that, you know, somebody with any form of authority saying, hey, you shouldn't do that, you you really shouldn't do that, it makes you want to do it, for starters. This is, this is supposed to be humor, and the fact that people are missing out on that, and they're just saying, well, you, there's things you just can't joke about. 
Says who? Who says you can't joke about certain things? I'm sorry, but humor was the way I survived growing up. I am a bit of a nihilistic little cunt. I'll be honest. No, there was a lot of shitty things that happened to me as a kid. And I'll be honest. Humor was my defense. Every time I got the shit kicked out of me in high school. No, I shouldn't say high school. Middle school. What I did, I turned that, that around on myself. Somebody's mocking me. I turned it on to myself. I would turn their mockery against myself. You know what it happened? It was deflection. I def I was effectively deflecting these this mockery onto myself and away from myself at the same time because they realized it took it out of it. As soon as I started mocking myself, well, where's the fun in mocking me then? Where's the fun in bullying me at that point there wasn't because there was nothing there you couldn't hurt me anymore and that's the point that i'm trying to drive across at least while it's you know mixed up in my rambling thought process as bad as it is because i'm just doing this from the top of my head i can't really speak very well i don't I have very incoherent thought processes, and it is not a great thing to be me. That being said, I am trying my best, and I think I can get a point across being that, look, humor is, as I stated in the beginning, subjective. What I find funny, you won't find funny. I might find, you know, dead babies funny for some reason. I don't, but it's an example, folks. But you might not. You might find dead babies funny and I don't. You know, that's the example here, folks. But I'm not going to get offended over your joke. People need to seriously lose the this stigma, this stigma of, you just can't joke about certain things. Why? When you joke about certain things, you lessen it. You don't make it as severe and it becomes something to laugh at. What people are doing regarding Felix Gilbert... Fuck you, Dutch! I can't pronounce your last name. <laughs> Swedish, not Dutch, but whatever. PewDiePie's humor, you know, to, to take his what he's doing and turn it into something that it is not, is ridiculous. There, there's always this joke of uh, about SJWs and autistic screeching. You know, because this idea that they can't take a joke, things like that. And one of the things about those with autism is that they don't understand humor. They, they have a hard time grasping the difference between a serious statement and a satirical one. And this is a perfect example of that. This is a very good example of somebody who's taken a joke and they cannot, literally just cannot see the humor in it. Instead, they have to attack a man and try to hurt him, in this case, in his wallet. And while a few million dollars, it's not something that's going to bury him. But at the same time, that's a few million dollars out of a pocket that, you know, he has used to donate to towards things. I might not care for, for PewDiePie, but Felix Schielberg? Again, I can't pronounce your last name. I, I really can't. He's a generally good guy. He does good things for people. You know, he does, he isn't a pompous, arrogant ass. That's not the thing I take away from any of his videos. He just seems like a normal guy. It's really surprising to see that it's, you know, somebody who could easily be a dick. He's generally a normal person, and he jokes about some pretty weird shit, but he's, he's not a bad person. And to take anything he says out of context, like has been being done is just preposterous i don't know i'm a, uh, this is already you know almost 20 minutes of me ranting um i'm just i'm just gonna throw this over top of some gameplay or something and and go from there let me know what you guys think uh and this is the thing about youtube we have an open platform here and this is one of the things that the old journalism has against YouTube. This is why they hate it. We have an open platform where anyone can say anything. They have free range of thought. 
You can tell me you absolutely hate my guts for what I just said in this video. I don't care. And I'm not going to block you for it. Now, you come on here and you start, you know, posting links to things like your channel or something. I might block you for spam, but that's because spam's annoying, folks. Stop it. But I'm not going to block you for saying that you don't like the things I say. Why? Because I think that that is needed. I think we need an open platform where thoughts and ideas can be discussed openly without an echo chamber. Now, YouTube might not be the place, best place for it, but damn it, it's the next, it's the, one of the best places for it. Want to have open debate and have open discussion, and sometimes that's something that can't happen here because something that, like, what I've said here would get banned or blocked. People would flag my video for hate speech. And this is anything but hate speech. But, you know, that's, that's pretty typical of how things are now. You say the wrong thing, you do the wrong thing, suddenly you're sexist, misogynist, homophobic, racist, whatever ist you can throw out there. And I hate that. I hate the fact that that's what things have become at this point. It's what things are, are angling towards. And I will do everything in my power every step of the way to stand up against that sort of thing and stop that sort of thing from happening. I won't shut you up, but if you try to censor other people, you can be damn sure I will try to stop you from censoring those other people because I will at least give you the same benefit of a doubt that you have that same right to say whatever the hell you please on an open platform. All right, guys. Uh... <laughs> Again, I've been rambling for 20 minutes. I'm going to I'm going to let things off there. Let me know what you think in the bottom in the comments. Um I know this is something normally different from my channel. It's it's not the sort of thing I normally do, but it's something I needed to have out there. I needed to say. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.